How's it going, man? Whoa, that's a god, buddy. I'm afraid I must insist on silence. Uh. Oh, great. You ticked off the little blue angel guy. <laughs> you humble us with your presence. Hey, Zane! It's me! Over here! Hi! Dad? Did... Did he say Zenny? What's up, you guys? Thanks for giving us these awesome pre-fight fights. Get down, idiot! Please forgive the disturbance, sire. I want to see fights! Yes, please hurry! You got it, dudes! I guarantee you it's gonna be a- Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, and then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get straight to the point. Goku elected as the new supreme god by Zenosama, a revolution in the cosmos. In an epic turn of events that shook the foundations of the multiverse, Zenosama, the Almighty, made an unusual decision that left all living beings perplexed and at the same time anxious about what the future held. In a cosmic meeting of never-before-seen proportions, Zenosama announced that the legendary Saiyan warrior, Goku, has been chosen to occupy the position of Supreme God, responsible for maintaining order and balance in all existing realities. The news spread like wildfire across the twelve universes, leaving gods of destruction, angels, and ordinary mortals open-mouthed at the Omni King's choice. Goku, known for his humility, incessant desire to overcome, and compassion for all beings, seemed to be the perfect choice to take on this divine role. According to celestial sources, Zeno-sama was impressed by Goku's incredible journey from his humble childhood on Earth to his epic battles against cosmic threats, including powerful villains and beings from other dimensional planes. Goku's compassion, his constant search for personal improvement, and his love for life were cited as decisive factors in the choice. Vegeta, Goku's eternal rival and prince of the Saiyans, expressed his surprise at the news, but admitted that Goku has always stood out as an extraordinary warrior. I never thought I would say this, but Goku deserves this position. He has proven himself worthy of trust, and I will stand by his side, ready to face any challenge the universe throws at us. Vegeta declared. The other gods of destruction and angles also gave their blessings to Goku, recognizing Zenosama's wisdom in his choice. Whis, the mentor and angel of the god of destruction Beerus, commented, Goku has the unique ability to inspire others to reach their limits and beyond. His ascension to supreme god will bring an era of peace and prosperity to the entire multiverse. Goku, in turn, received the news with the same humility as always. In a brief statement, he expressed his gratitude for being chosen and promised to use his new role to promote justice, harmony, and cooperation among all living things. Let's train together, fight together, and make the multiverse a better place for all of us, Goku stated. As the cosmos adjusts to the news of Goku's ascension, we can only wait to witness the changes and challenges that await the new Supreme God. One thing is certain, the universe will never be the same. As Goku begins to absorb the magnitude of the responsibility that has been placed upon his shoulders, a shadow of surprise and surprisingly insecurity begins to hang over the legendary Saiyan warrior. As he finds himself in Zenosama's palace, surrounded by the majesty of the supreme beings, Goku can hardly believe that he has been chosen to become the new supreme god. In a moment of silent reflection, Goku, known for his boundless confidence in his combat abilities, begins to question himself and his qualifications for this godlike role. He remembers his journey from childhood to the cosmic battles, but now, facing the immensity of his new responsibilities, a subtle uncertainty begins to emerge. Vegeta, noticing the change in his friend, approaches Goku with a look of understanding. Goku, you've always been someone who sought out challenges, but this is completely different. Being the Supreme God means taking care of all existence. Are you ready for that? Goku, still processing the magnitudes of his new role, responds with disconcerting sincerity. Vegeta, I never expected something like this. I just wanted to fight, to overcome myself, to protect my friends and the universe, but to be responsible for all beings in everywhere. 
That's scary. Whis, the observing angel, intercedes in the conversation. Goku, it's natural to feel this way when faced with such a great responsibility. However, Zeno-sama sees unique qualities in you that can make a difference. Your compassion, your love for life, and your constant quest for overcoming are exactly what the cosmos needs. Faced with Whis's words and the support of his friends, Goku slowly begins to find the confidence that characterizes him. He realizes that although he may not have planned on becoming the Supreme God, his life experiences and unique abilities uniquely prepare him to face this monumental challenge. Thus, with a mixture of excitement and determination, Goku accepts his destiny and decides to face the uncertainties that present themselves. As the gods of destruction, angels and inhabitants of the multiverse watch, Goku prepares for a journey that transcends his epic battles, now embracing the role of protector of all existence. The universe once again adjusts to the impact of an unforeseen cosmic shift as Goku, the new supreme god, prepares to lead the way into an unknown future. While Goku internalizes his new position as Supreme God in the confines of the Sacred Celestial Palace, the angels, beings of extraordinary wisdom and serenity, call a meeting to discuss Zeno-sama's unexpected decision. In the Celestial Hall, an ethereal space adorned with twinkling lights and interdimensional portals, the angels of each universe gather in an atmosphere of mutual respect. Whis, accompanied by other angels such as Vados, Marcarita, and Mojito, leads the meeting. Whis, expressing the surprise that echoes throughout everyone present, begins the conversation. My dear colleagues, we were all witnesses to Zeno-sama's extraordinary decision. What do you think of this unusual choice of naming Goku as Supreme God? Vados, Whis's sister, raises a thoughtful look. It's true, Whis. Goku is a remarkable warrior, but taking on the responsibility of all existence is an unusual burden for someone so unassuming. Mojito, the angel associated with the god of destruction Rumshi, adds his perspective. Zeno-sama has always had a unique view of things. Perhaps he sees something in Goku that none of us fully understand. After all, what's more surprising than unpredictability from Zeno-sama himself? As the angels ponder the situation, Margarita, known for her patience and equanimity, intervenes. Regardless of Zeno-sama's reasons, we must support his decision. Goku may come as a surprise to us, but perhaps this will be the revolution that the multiverse it needs. Whis, agreeing with Margarita's observation, concludes the meeting. Then let us watch closely. Zeno-sama's wisdom transcends our understanding and only time will reveal the results of this extraordinary choice. Meanwhile, our role as angels is to guide and support Goku on his journey as Supreme God. The meeting of the angels ends and each of them leaves to fulfill their role in their respective universes. As the cosmos absorbs the news of Goku's ascension, the angels continue their tasks, preparing for the imminent changes that await the entire multiverse under Goku's new leadership as the Supreme God. Cosmic destiny unfolds before everyone, and the balance of the universe rests in the hands of a Saiyan warrior who, even in the face of uncertainty, accepts his divine role with humility and determination. In the heart of the Celestial Palace, Goku, still absorbing the magnitude of his new position as Supreme God, seeks guidance from the great Daishinkan, the chief angel and direct advisor to Zeno-sama. The room, adorned with celestial sculptures and pulsing with transcendental energy, is the setting for this crucial encounter. Goku approaches Daishinkan with humility, his eyes reflecting a mixture of determination and curiosity. Hey, Daishinkan, I really don't know where to start with all of this. What's the first step I should take as High God? Daishinkan, known for his unwavering serenity and wisdom, looks at Goku with a reassuring smile. Goku, your journey as Supreme God is unique, and although the responsibilities are vast, the essence of the role is to maintain balance and harmony between the 12 universes. He continues, explaining the fundamental principles of Goku's role. 
His mission is to ensure that no universe falls into excessive disorder. This involves monitoring the activity of the gods of destruction, ensuring that mortals have the opportunity to grow and prosper, and intervening when cosmic threats endanger existence. Goku scratches his head, pondering Daishinkan's words. This seems very serious. How am I going to be able to do all this and keep training and fighting? Daishinkan, with a piercing gaze, responds, Goku, your strength and unique abilities are precisely what the cosmos needs. The compassion you demonstrate and the willingness to fight for the right causes are your greatest tools. Remember, you are not alone. The angels are here to guide and support, and you can count on Zeno-sama's wisdom when needed. With a mix of determination and acceptance, Goku thanks Daishinkan for his guidance. I understand, I'll do my best, but just out of curiosity, do you think I'm the right choice for this? Daishinkan, with a gaze that transcends time, responds, Zeno Sama chose you for a reason, Goku. The multiverse is constantly evolving, and perhaps your unique nature is exactly what we need right now. Trust in yourself, and that your journey as High God is as incredible as your legendary battles. With this blessing from the chief angel, Goku sets out to begin his journey as supreme god, knowing that the path ahead will be challenging, but with the determination to make the multiverse a better place for all beings. As he walks away, the halls of the celestial palace echo with the promise of a new era, led by the unlikely hero who has become the guardian of all existence. As Goku prepares to assume his role as Supreme God, he is summoned once again into the presence of Zeno-sama, the all-powerful ruler of the Twelve Universes. The Celestial Palace resonates with an imposing aura as Goku kneels before the Omni King. Zeno-sama, with his characteristically carefree expression, looks at Goku seriously. Goku, as the Supreme God, you must understand that sometimes, to maintain balance, it is necessary to erase universes. Goku, surprised, looks up at Zeno-sama. Erase universes. But I have always fought to protect life, not destroy it. Why would I do something like that? Zeno-sama calmly explains. Balance is fundamental, Goku. If a universe falls into uncontrollable disorder, threatening the existence of others, the option to erase it is an extreme but necessary measure. It is the only way to preserve harmony of the multiverse. Goku, still processing the idea, asks, But what about the lives in these universes? Don't they have a chance to change and improve? Zeno-sama responds with wisdom that transcends Goku's understanding. Sometimes Goku change and improvement require painful sacrifices. As Supreme God, you will need to make difficult decisions to ensure the well-being of all beings in all places. This may involve choices that go beyond the understanding of mortals. Goku, still reluctant, asks, but do I really have to do this? Is there no other way? Zeno-sama, with an aura of unquestionable authority, responds, You were chosen because, at your core, you have the ability to understand necessary balance. The decisions you will make will shape the destiny of the multiverse. This is a burden that comes with position of supreme god. Accepting responsibility, Goku stands up. I understand. I will do whatever it takes to maintain balance but I will find ways to preserve life whenever possible. Zeno-sama, with a nod of approval, says, That is the spirit, Goku. The multiverse is now in your hands. Use its power with wisdom and compassion. As Goku leaves the heavenly palace once again, he carries not only the honor of being supreme god, but also the burden of making decisions that will affect the existence of countless lives. Your journey as the guardian of all universes has just begun, and the path ahead will be marked by unimaginable challenges and choices that will test not only your strength, but also your compassion in the face of the intricate webs of the multiverse. Back on the planet of Birus, the seventh universe's god of destruction, Goku meets Whis, his mentor and guide, in the vast lush gardens surrounding the celestial palace. The tranquil aura of the place offers a stark contrast to the restlessness Goku feels in his heart. Whis, noticing Goku's uneasiness, greets him with an affable smile. Goku, how was your conversation with Zeno-sama? It seems like you have something on your mind. Goku, frowning, begins to vent his worries to Whis. 
Well, Wis, Zain Osama told me that as the Supreme God, I need to learn how to erase universes if things get out of control. That's heavy, man. I just wanted to fight and protect, not make decisions that affect so many lives. Wis, with his discerning gaze, understands Goku's anguish. It's an extraordinary responsibility, Goku. But believe me, Zenosama saw something in you that makes you fit for this task. The balance of the multiverse lies in the hands of someone who has always sought to overcome their own limits. Goku, rubbing the back of his neck nervously, confesses, I don't know if I'm the right person for this, Wiss. Erasing universes seems so extreme. I just wanted to help people, not be responsible for deciding the fate of so many. Whis places a hand on Goku's shoulder with compassion. I understand your doubts, Goku, but remember, being Supreme God involves more than just making difficult decisions. As you seek balance, you can also positively influence, guide, and inspire the beings of the universes you govern. Goku ponders Whis's words and then looks towards the horizon. Do you think I have what it takes for this, Whis? I just want to do right. Whis confidently responds, Goku, you have a unique ability to bring people together, inspire them to excel and believe in a better future. Maybe that's what Zeno-sama saw in you. Now, more than ever, the multiverse needs a leader who understands the value of life and hope. Determined, Goku looks up at the starry sky. Okay, Whis, I'll do my best, even if I'm still not sure if I'm the right guy for this. Whis smiles, sharing words of encouragement. The journey will be challenging, Goku, but you are not alone. Count on me and the other angels to guide you. The future of the multiverse is in your hands, and I am sure you will find his own path, guided by the instinct to protect and help. As Goku prepares to face the complexities of his new role as Supreme God, he carries with him not only uncertainty, but also the determination to make a difference in a role that transcends combat and demands a deeper understanding of the fabric of the cosmos. The universe watches as Goku, the unlikely hero, embarks on a cosmic journey filled with challenges and crucial decisions that will shape the destiny of all beings. In his heavenly palace, Zenosama summons all the gods of destruction for a unique meeting. The vibrant and colorful environment of the palace is filled with the imposing presence of the gods, each representing the power of their respective universes. Zenosama, sitting on his throne, looks at the gods of destruction with a curious gleam in his eyes. Gods of destruction, there is something I want to see, a demonstration of your powers. The gods look at each other, surprised by the Omni King's direct request. Beerus, the god of destruction of the seventh universe, takes the lead, curious to know what Zeno-sama's desire is. What exactly do you want to see, Zeno-sama? Beerus asks. Zeno-sama responds with a childish smile. I want a battle between you, a demonstration of your maximum powers. I want to see who is the strongest god of destruction among all. The gods look at each other again, some with intrigued expressions, and others with a gleam of excitement in their eyes. The idea of a battle between gods of destruction is unprecedented, and tension in the heavenly palace rises. Beerus, accepting the challenge, stands up and prepares for battle. The other gods of destruction, seeing the enthusiasm of the god of the seventh universe, decide to join the demonstration. Zeno-sama, now with a look of expectation, watches as the gods of destruction begin to release their powers, filling the palace with incredible energy. Energy blasts, cosmic clashes, and destructive rays collide in celestial space, creating a spectacular and frightening display of divine force. As the battle unfolds, Goku, recently named Supreme God, watches with a mixture of fascination and respect. He recognizes the magnitude of the powers being unleashed and understands the importance of maintaining balance between these divine beings. Zeno-sama, however, remains impassive on his throne, watching the cosmic battle with a mischievous smile. For the Almighty, this is a form of unique entertainment, an opportunity to witness the limits of divine power. As the gods of destruction continue the demonstration, the universe watches the incredible display of strength and destruction. The divine gathering in the heavenly palace turns into an epic spectacle as the gods show the true extent of their powers before the supreme ruler of the multiverses. Faced with the spectacle of power provided by the gods of destruction, 
Daishin Khan, the chief angel, decides to intervene to add a unique touch to the cosmic demonstration. With his ethereal presence, he approaches Zeno-sama with an intriguing suggestion. Oh, Zeno-sama, considering the magnitude of the powers of our gods of destruction, perhaps a draw of fights between them would be interesting. This would allow us to evaluate not only the brute strength, but also the strategy and unique abilities of each one. Zeno-sama, always in search of cosmic entertainment, accepts the suggestion with a cheerful nod. Ah, Daishinkan, you always have interesting ideas. Come on, draw the fights, it will be exciting. Daishinkan nods and summons a sphere of golden light. Inside it, small cosmic spheres float, each representing a god of destruction. With a graceful gesture, Daishinkan begins the draw, generating expectations among the gods and Goku, who watch carefully. The fights will be Shampa against Liquir, Arak against Sidra, Rumshi against Moscow, and finally Beerus against Belmod, announces Daishinkan. While the cosmic spheres organize themselves to form combat pairs, Goku, still absorbing the awesomeness of the moment, approaches Whis with enthusiasm. This is going to be amazing. We'll be able to evaluate the powers of each god of destruction. Whis agrees. It will certainly be a unique experience. This demonstration will not only reveal their strength, but will also allow for an exchange of knowledge between the gods. As fights begin, the gods of destruction prepare to face their drawn opponents. The celestial arena becomes the stage for cosmic clashes, with destructive energies colliding and divine strategies being put to the test. Goku, now the supreme god, watches closely, realizing the complexity of the dynamics between the gods. He understands that, in addition to strength, wisdom and strategy play a crucial role in this divine scenario. As the fights rage on, the atmosphere in the heavenly palace vibrates with the excitement of divine battles. The gods of destruction display their unique abilities, and Goku, in his position as supreme leader, begins to glimpse the complexity of his new responsibility. Not just as a protector, but as a keen observer of the cosmic balance. The fate of the multiverses is being decided in the celestial arena, and Goku, the supreme god, watches as the gods collide in a spectacular display of godlike power and strategy. Intrigued and eager to witness the battle between the gods of destruction, Goku turns to Whis with a determined look. Whis, I think it would be amazing to see the fight between Berus and Belmod. Let's go to Zeno-sama and find out when it will happen. Whis, always calm and collected, nods in agreement. Of course, Goku, let's go to the palace and ask for an update on the fight schedule. Together, Goku and Whis cross the celestial corridors, arriving at Zeno-sama's majestic palace. Air vibrant with cosmic energy surrounds them as they approach the throne of the Almighty. Zeno-sama, noticing Goku and Whis' arrival, looks at them with his glowing eyes. Hi Zeno-sama, we're super excited for the Gods of Destruction fights. When will it be Beerus and Belmod's turn to face each other? Asked Goku excitedly. Zeno-sama smiles, excited by Goku's enthusiasm. Ah, Goku, I'm glad you're excited. The fights are progressing well, and the battle between Beerus and Belmod is set to begin soon. Let's all go to the Celestial Arena. Wasting no time, Goku, Whis, and Zeno-sama instantly teleport to the Celestial Arena, where the Gods of Destruction are about to begin their long-awaited battle. The electrically charged atmosphere and hum of divine energies create palpable anticipation. Beerus, the god of destruction of Universe 7, is standing on one side of the arena, while Belmod, the god of destruction of Universe 11, waits on the other. Goku's eyes shine with excitement as he prepares to witness the intensity of this epic confrontation. Whis, alongside Goku, comments, this will be an extraordinary battle, Goku. Remember, they are gods of destruction, so the scale of power will be unparalleled. Goku nods, barely able to contain his excitement. The countdown begins, and the celestial arena becomes the epicenter of a divine battle that will echo through the halls of the multiverse. 
the fate of the gods of destruction is about to be decided and Goku, as supreme god, watches with respect and fascination, aware that this fight will not only test brute strength but also divine limits and strategies. To be continued, hey my partner, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all this? Click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos and that's more or less what we'll see in the next video. Goodbye.